Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4, No Step Back DLC, and we're going to be doing OP Soviet Union on Elite Iron Man mode with historical AI. So let's get into it. Uh, this was one of my monetization goals on one of my live streams, and uh, you guys made the goal, so you get the video. So for our research, we're going to start off going for the railgun, going for radio, and we're going to buff our industry. Pretty standard stuff. In terms of our infrastructure, we're going to be upgrading the capital and two low infrastructure areas on the front line that could be problematic. We will go the path of Marxist, Marxism, Leninism first, and the Focus tree order will be in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. Next thing we're going to need is AA. So we'll get a couple of those going. We're also going to make the old guns and then put them into our MP divisions. And I've got a few tricks for you guys that will conserve on the weaponry. Uh, and it's going to be through making our division templates. So stick around to check that out. Uh, the Navy doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put these ships into a Navy that's not landlocked in the Black Sea. And we may or may not get to use this Navy. We'll see. But largely the Navy, we're just going to ignore that because it's not going to be useful to us. OK, and that's looking good. Now the army build, we're going to shift left click on this icon up here. That's going to give all of our units. And we're just going to start building these units out here. And I cannot emphasize enough that this build will not work unless you set up your armies correctly. The army composition is going to be incredibly important, guys. So make sure to pay attention to this part of the video. Because you need to pick the correct generals. We're going to be deleting the mountain divisions. We're not going to be using those because they're a wonky combat width and they use a lot of support equipment. And then we're also going to be combining a lot of these panzer divisions here. Obviously, tank divisions are costly. So we're going to try to get those down to about six and we're going to keep the motorized division. So you can combine those like I showed you there. You can combine the divisions. We don't have all the equipment filled yet. Zhukov is going to be our tank general. Then we're going to go Konev for infantry. We're going to go Rokosovsky. And we're going to get uh, Vasilevsky. And there's a hidden gem here that's going to be purged off later, but he's so good early game, I cannot pass him up. And we're going to keep this uh, in this cavalry template right here because it's so important but it's basically primakov and he starts off with cavalry leader which gives you cavalry attack of 12 percent super op he also has war hero so we can promote him to field marshal for 50 percent less command power cost also pretty op and i'll show you that later but promoting him to Field Marshal is going to give him an extra attack stat. So that's this stat with the two swords crossed. And then the other leader that's going to get purged off is Tukachevsky. So it's going to be these two guys, Tukachevsky and Primakov, will get purged off. As far as I know, unless you guys can leave a comment down below because you know how to get around it, but... Um, to my best knowledge, they get purged off no matter what. There's nothing you can do. Say goodnight to them. But they're so instrumental early game, and that's how we're going to create separation. 
with these two guys right here because they're they're too OP. And um, if you don't know what generals are going to get purged off, it's going to be super tough to play this game. So we'll change all these to cavalry, start to train them. And then Vasilevsky, we're also going to change to cavalry divisions. And then we're going to train them. And that cavalry division is super small. It's only eight with combat width right now. We're going to take that up to 10, uh, but it's going to save a lot of equipment because the division template is actually just comprised of infantry equipment that's super cheap. So we're going to train them and get some army experience going. Now let's focus on Air Force. We're just going to ignore Navy for the purposes of this video. It's uh, really not going to come into. It's not going to be impactful for us. So let's start this up. We also need to start the Intel agency because we're going to use the Intel agency to get collaboration governments. And we need to start building military factories in the highest infrastructure areas first. Okay, we're going to use 100 width air wings, if you want to call it width. The size of the air wing is going to be 100. And if we get aces on any of these air wings, that's the optimal number. Also, you'll notice that the air the airports are in multiples of 200 and 100 fits into that. So we are going to start exercising the fighters as well as the strategic bombers. We're not going to use the strategic bombers at all. Hopefully we won't have to use the nav bombers, but we are also going to exercise the nav bombers here. OK, we'll go for two levels of passive defense. We get our first spy in 29 days. OK, after the path of Marxism and Leninism. Focus tree order in the description box below. We're going to go for the new Soviet women. And basically what this does is we're going to stack political power and we need as much political power as possible. The other thing you're thinking is, why isn't he organizing his divisions yet? is because we need to keep them spread out because if you overstack, there's going to be attrition and you're going to lose uh, equipment, you know, basically for nothing. So I like to keep them spread out. It's uh, winter right now, and uh, it looks like these divisions are attritioning, but the rest seem to be OK. Oh, this is pretty bad. OK, let's get some of these guys up on the front line. Yeah. Let's let's actually maneuver them around so that maybe they don't attrition as much. And if you make them all strategic deploy, that's going to be a railroad icon here while they're moving. They basically won't attrition as much. How many tanks we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's combine two more. Oh. These cheeky guys already have enough tanks. Okay, we can combine that. I don't think we can combine anything else. So I might have to delete a tank. So we're going to be down to one, two, three, four, five, six. OK, that should be perfect. So we'll get the tanks. Like in that area, click on half of them and then put them like right here and then. Okay, he's already on a fallback line. Let's give him a better, more identifiable color. And then we're going to do a field marshal order with the remainder of the two divisions, and that's going to stitch those two divisions together. And this actually is a lot better. There's less shuffling. And then I'm able to basically put in whatever I want into this this order on the fly. 
And uh, so we're going to attack into Poland second. We're going to go into Romania first. We don't have those Mountaineer divisions, but it doesn't matter. We're going to do a ring around the Rosies, around the big Transylvanian uh, mountain there. Oh, we got our spy. I prefer the kissy face uh, upgrade there. Uh, gives better infiltration effectiveness and own operative detection chance factor is negative 20%. So that's why I always like to do that. And I just put them on build Intel network. We're gonna need a network of, I believe 50% to get our first collaboration government. Turkey seizes control over the Bosporus. Just go ahead and mobilize immediately. It's gonna give you 5% war support. Very nice. Turkey will back down. The one thing that you guys can wanna work, watch out for is the French coming in with a non-interventionalist committee or something like that. When that happens, you're in big trouble because that means the UK is gonna come in unless you can keep your war time down below like six months. So we'll see if that happens. If it, it it's happened at about 50% of my playthroughs, but if you could get a playthrough where that event does not occur, it would be better. Concerned about factionalism. Okay, so... He, we're going to start having these political paranoia uh, events and decisions pop up. I largely just fix them with the focus tree. So just pay attention to the focus tree. My focus tree build, and it should largely take care of that. You might have to click a decision once or twice. So we got the new Soviet woman. We're going to go for the center, and the center is going to allow us to actually change the NKVD divisions, which basically means deleting them. Uh, but we're going to wait to delete them because I want all their equipment to go towards the collaborationist government. So we're going to promote Zhukov here. And then we're going to promote Primakov, both to field marshal, and that's going to allow them to get the offensive doctrine, which gives the plus one attack. Little MP move there. Okay, we have 189 political power. You want to stop as soon as you get 189 political power. You want to justify a war goal, doesn't matter what area, on Yugoslavia. Then you want to justify a war goal on Poland. And then you want to cancel justification on Yugoslavia. I'm going a little slower here to show you guys. And then justify again. So you had just enough uh, political power to pull that off. And what that's going to do is we're going to get war goals against these two countries almost simultaneously. So we can attack them at the same time. And so that is going to give us a lot of advantage because they're all going to ally together the Eastern European states here and we can take them out all at once in one war makes it nice and clean. And then after the war, compliance raises faster and resistance doesn't get out of control. The collaboration governments that we're making is going to make it so that um, Basically, resistance stays low and um, compliance stays high, starts building higher, actually. OK, so let's change this over to the cavalry template, which is the preferred occupation template. I get this question a lot. Do I have to occupy uh, territories with actual divisions? No, you do not. You just need to go under occupied territories and uh, change this and all of your territories will be occupied by this division template. And I'm not occupying anyone right now, but you'll see it a little later. OK, so we're basically waiting for the Spanish Civil War. We're going to go for radio there, as promised. And once we have the center. We're able to delete the NKVD divi divisions. 
Uh, there we go. Stalin Constitution, and we'll keep on going. So we're going to go two upgrades of passive defense, then form the, de the department, get radio interception group, two levels of that. That'll give us our second spy. And then we can go for prepare collaboration government. And we're going to need an Intel network of 50% in order to complete that. You also need some infantry equipment. And so what you're going to want to do is change the priority of your equipment here to high priority for operations and you see the spy symbol right there denoting the operations okay we'll form the department so we've already ground out five army xp it's not a lot but it is impactful as soon as we get 50 we're going to go ahead and choose air crew surveys that's going to reduce the air accident chance and also decrease air doctoring cost so that's going to be very important to get that okay so as soon as we get our second spy we will go ahead and delete the nkvd divisions and all that equipment all that precious equipment will go into the operations tab Okay, I prefer going concentrated industry. I know we're not going to get bombed too much. And then we can also continue getting our railgun. Railgun rush, railgun OP. That's all you need to know about that. Okay, and then we get the Spanish Civil War. We will send air volunteers. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They will accept. And then we will send over our tax. And then we will start grinding out a lot of air XP right there. We can start decrypting ciphers. I like Czechoslovakia. When you get into the middle here, into this neck area, it can be a pain to start pushing. So it's nice to get that combat bonus uh, from the Intel bonus that decrypting the cipher gives you okay got stolen constitution now we're going to jump over to positive heroism and that's going to give us rakasovsky as a cabinet man a military cabinet member i'm not sure he you can add him to your high command your military high command and that's going to turn the tanks on. It's 15% attack and defense for your armored divisions. So let's see what we got here. Can we please combine any of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want seven. That's going to be perfect. Spread these guys out a little bit so they don't attrition. Now we're going to go do some tank upgrades as soon as we can. Uh, let's upgrade our generals first. Offensive doctrine. So look at his attack. It's five. That's twelve and a half percent. And now it's six. Fifteen percent. Very OP if you ask me. And then we're going to do the same with our other friend over here, Primakov. And he also needs Cavalry Expert. Okay, almost got the spies. I misclicked. I wasn't clicking on the spy stuff enough, so you could get this collab earlier if you needed to. Uh, and we can modify the government. The first person that I go to. So we're going to wait till we're 150 political power. And then we're going to click on Mikhail Kalanin. Because he gives us 15% stability. And stability buffs a lot of things. Political power gain. Consumer good factories. Um, factory output. Dockyard output. Even though dockyard output does not matter for the Soviet Union. And 
Let's delete some of these old division templates that we're not using. And um, so we got Kalanian waiting on our last spy. And we're going to go positive heroism. And largely, I ignore the mini game here because this paranoia, we're going to get some um, events triggered, which we're just going to have to deal with. But the focus tree is going to reduce paranoia. OK, we're done with that build. We're done building our intel agency, and now all we need to do is get this second spy so that we can make our oh so necessary collaboration government on Poland and it will be very delayed we just need to keep an eye on what's happening over here in Spain very important uh, let's also get aggressive assaulter on Tukachevsky anti saboteur campaign okay ground based training Air experience gain negative 20. Air accident chance 25%. Air wing mission experience gain negative 20. Political paranoia decreased by 20. Okay, I guess we'll take it. The one that nerfs your airspeed, do not take. And then what I'm also going to do, since the air accident chance is a lot higher, is we're going to start, we're going to stop exercising the fighters. But we can exercise everything else just fine. OK, let's see if we're getting any attrition on the front lines. Not too much. And. Almost have that second spy. I'm way behind on this. Let's see who's available. OK, another kissy face girl. Love it. Gonna wait for a day to pass and then make our collaboration government. And then you see it requires guns, equipment, etc. So we'll go ahead, let a little bit of time pass, and then we're gonna delete the NKVD divisions. And then all that precious equipment is gonna go in to here. Boom. It does take a few days to get this going. And our war is going to start around April. So there's plenty of time to get that collaboration government off. All right, what else we got going on here? Got a tiny fighter wing there. We're not going to be gaining as much uh, air experience. Let's do the air crew survey. It's a little late. And then we're still just grinding XP. We got positive heroism. So we're going to save political power to get Rokosovsky. So this is going to increase political paranoia. And then we're going to decrease it over here. So let's check out political paranoia. It's at 24%. I kind of favor going this. Maybe we could go this and then that and see if we can get away with something here. There might be another event. The higher the political paranoia, uh, the more likely of a Stalin to do something kind of wacky. That's the way I see it. OK, I heard that attrition sound. It looks like we're spread out enough where there's not attrition. Always well, got to keep an eye on the spies over here. Lab government's almost ready to go. And you're just kind of micromanaging a lot of this stuff and then upgrading as you go along. Let me double check that he was upgraded all the way. First Moscow trial happens. So this is kind of leading into the Great Purge. Let's go ahead and decrease the political paranoia a little bit. There's 
14%. So it actually decreased it. I thought it said that it would increase it. Political paranoia increased by 30. It didn't seem to increase it, though. Maybe that's a typo in the focus tree. I'm not sure. Okay, we don't need that train. We're good there. Okay, we got radio, and then we're going to go improved machine tools. Keep going on our merry way here. And I think we've done all the upgrades that we can. Uh, through Focus Tree, we're going to be able to upgrade Konev and Rokosovsky to Field Marshal. So when um, Tukachevsky gets purged here, and that should be after we cap Germany... Um, then basically we can fill that in with any of our other field marshals that we have upgraded. Almost to the point where we can get our first air doctrine. So it's going to be 105. And we're going to go for strategic destruction because that's going to improve ground support. It's also going to improve air superiority. We'll do secure the administration next. That's further going to decrease political paranoia. I'm not sure if we need 40 command power to get Rokosovsky. Okay. First rail gun is out. What to do next? Let's go ahead with the good old infantry equipment. Stockpile is full. No issues there. Looking good. Uh, let's also upgrade the tank. Oh, micro that a little better. Okay, so we're going to change the gun to the close support weapon because we're basically going to be going up against infantry. We need that soft attack increased as much as possible and then we can go to three-man turret and we'll call it quits right there we've got upgrades to breakthrough defense soft attack piercing and heart attack which we don't really care about decreased max speed decreased pretty low impact and boom you've got your tank upgrade right there Actually, I want those mills on. I think I just put it on tank. We need to get him on railgun. And I like putting the old style Mosin at the bottom because it's cheaper. And these, the bottom military factories, to, tend to get messed up during. After you capitulate countries or after there's resistance, like destroying factories. So the factories at the bottom are going to get messed up and it messes up your production efficiency. So I like putting the cheapest equipment down here at the bottom. And that tends to work really well. Let's see here. We could probably take. Uh, I don't want to take anything off air. This seems to be fine. We'll take some off of infantry equipment and then that can go back on later. Something like that should be good. But we got to get we're going to get two of these rail guns out and then put all the mills to someplace else. Uh, at this point, we could probably trade with Siam. No, let's go Dutch East Indies. Get some more planes out as quickly as possible. That fighter debuff should go away after a while. October 4th. OK, so that'll be in the middle of our next war. And let's see if we can get Rokosovsky. Military genius. Bam. You grind that army XP quicker. 0.12 daily. 
Nice. Okay, so the war goals are grinding out here. We're going to attack simultaneously. That's going to bring everyone except for Hungary and Bulgaria into war with us. And uh, the next war is going to be against Germany. So hopefully we complete that war, end the war. We haven't gotten the French non-interventionist committee or whatever that event is. So I'm assuming that we're going to get that war, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> done free and clear. Sorry, I've been a little sick. I thought it was COVID, but it actually wasn't. Anti-saboteur campaign. So you want to re... <coughs> Excuse me, you want to read this? So this is going to adjust the Navy, which we don't care about. So yes, we will take that. Political paranoia is going to go down uh, 20%. Amazing. It seems to be when you're around 30% that one of those events fires off. Okay, we got the collab off, and we'll just go to the next country, Germany. We'll start it up again. So we will need to grind five army XP, and that's it. We'll stop training, and then we are going to... Adjust this uh, to 10 width, because 10 width is the OP division width. Let's get rid of the NKVD division, so that's not staring me in the face. We want to make sure that the tank division and motorized are upgraded to elite, and we're good there. We don't need to grind any more army XP outside of a war. Okay, this sometimes screws up your air wings. It looks okay. And we're starting to get up to our our goal, our war goals here. Sorry. Secure the administration. Let's go the collectivization process. And that's going to reduce our consumer good factories. but give us, it looks like it's going to give us two civilian factories as well as 5% construction speed. Pretty good. Max factories in state is really good. 10%. It basically, it basically equates to civilian factories, if you think about it. Okay, and that's going to conclude the video here. I'm getting a little choked up because of this uh, cold that I have. Uh, so I'm going to go get a glass of water, and then I will start making the next video. If you like these guides, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, there's many ways to support the channel. All of your support goes right back into the channel. And uh, you can be a channel membership. I have Patreon. You can subscribe. You can watch my videos. You can join my Discord. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.